so distant future. Solar Bla Hello everyone, this is the Lion Ben C and welcome to this stream, Spider Soars. Uh, if you're joining me from my stream earlier with Rumble Roses, welcome back. And if you're new and just checking this out, well, I hope you enjoy the show. We're going to wait a few seconds because I, I want it to, to show the, the opening part. So we're going to give it a few seconds. Earth, the not-so-distant future. Solar flares and overcrowding have destroyed the world's food supply. From her secret lab at Ingest Corp, bioengineering billionaire Erica Soares creates an incredible breed of eight-legged creatures with all the meat and muscle humanity needs to survive. But will we survive the spider soul? <laughs> That just feels like something out of the 80s. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and play this. So we have uh, our difficulties. Well done. Palatable for all diners. Though it shouldn't prove a valid challenging meal. Served with cheesy veggies and safety flatware. Medium, prepared for the broadest audience. The flavor will definitely come across. Seasonal sides, bread basket, and an embroidered napkin. Or rare, for the true spider sore connoisseur. Nothing but the choicest cuts, perfectly seasoned and prepared. Served on a rock. <laughs> We're gonna do medium. Okay, well, you know what? Let's look at our two characters. We have Victoria. Blood type B, colors, uh, eye color green, hair color varies. Weapon, thrash burn, peril axe, and her occupation is an indie rock band. Unemployed. <coughs> Victoria is a spunky and sarcastic. Her rebellious nature means she's unlikely to respect authority, though she can be motivated by money to spend on her band. Her... She's fiercely loyal to anyone she perceives as her tribe and feels responsible for their well-being. And then we have Adrian, blood type A, eyes resolute, hair red. The weapon is the sportscaster, occupation C attached. Adrian holds a strong yearning to do the right thing. Though he follows orders to a fault, he's tough and resourceful enough to get his way out of a jam. Note, Adrian consumes twice as many samples as the other subjects. Well, we're going to do Victoria. We're going to be the rock chick. And here we go. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to cancel practice. Sure hope they pay overtime. I believe we're all assembled now. If we could move this along... Uh, uh, just one more moment, please. Still waiting on our last guest. I, uh, uh, I'm not so sure that the, uh, uh, specimens are willing to work around our schedule. Mm. Ah, fish toss. No need to worry, me boy. Ah, why, I believe that's him now. Uh, somebody order a large olive lovers, an extra large alchovies, two specials on the diplato crust, and, uh... Perfect. Right on time. We can begin. Ha! Pizza boy? Weren't you supposed... 
supposed to be a cop or something? <laughs> I am a police officer in training. Thank you very much. But I've got bills to pay. If we could all take our seats. <laughs> Thank you all for coming under such mysterious circumstances. <laughs> yes, well, as you know, Ingest Corporation is the world leader in next generation food distribution and development. It seems some of our more experimental flavor varieties found a flaw in our security protocols. But we have them um, temporarily contained, <laughs> right? <laughs> We've talked about this. Uh, yes, some of our delicious specimens have <coughs> escaped and are making it difficult for our staff to do their valuable work. But that's where all of you come in. It seems the early tests you participated in may have had... Uh, Unintended, well, benefits, you might say. Dr. Soros here can speak to that in greater detail. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure some of you remember some odd side effects you encountered in our early tests. This is quite simply because our earliest samples altered the DNA of the host... <clears throat> the consumer. <laughs> <laughs> Imperceptibly, I imagine. If it had affected your lives much, we would have heard about it. I believe what our chief researcher is trying to say is that locked deep within your genetics may be the exact gift that will allow us to resolve our current predicament. But not all of you, alas. So you might ask, how do I know if it's me? If I'm the one chosen by nature to bail out ingest. Over the course of the next few days, you will undergo a variety of tests, both physical and molecular, to determine... Uh congratulations! You've been selected from an exclusive list of applicants to serve as our elite, uh, combat interns. Hold up. Internship? Paid internship? We certainly allocated compensation for your time, and seeing as the group is much smaller now, payment shouldn't be an issue. Sick. <laughs> They've already breached the inner wall! On it! One phone call and I can have the entire police force here in 30 minutes or less. Yeah, it, uh, we, we were hoping to handle this matter internally, if possible. That does make sense, in a way. <clears throat> As I was saying, perhaps you brought along some form of makeshift weaponry. <laughs> I haven't met a monster my guitar can't shred to tears. Hey, Chief, you still messing around with that potato gun? The Sportcaster? It's in my van! Wonderful! Uh, glad that's settled. Go collect your equipment and report back. You start immediately. I gotta love games like this. Edge tech. If 
you pick up a weapon you're already holding, it will actually upgrade to a more powerful form. Uh, but be careful! If you get hit, an upgraded weapon will revert. And if you, um, die, then you'll lose your active weapon. So... Queen Spider Soar. Down here. Huh? She's got a charge. You'll be safe down here. So like what? I just crouch and then jump. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go again. I did not realize they were down there. I wasn't paying attention to my health, so yeah, that was my bad. I can now stick to most surfaces. Weird aftertaste. Congratulations, you've evolved. The genetic information stored in that meat should interact with your internal structure and unlock a new ability. Success! Yes! You can now climb on most walls and ceilings! Unless, of course, the surface is covered in slippery slime. Still haven't perfected the recipe. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah, welcome back, interns. What the heck was that? You left us hanging when we needed you most. There was a... Ah. Queen Spider-Sore, our largest specimen. Big enough to feed an entire neighborhood, a school, a corporate party. Yes, the Queen Spider-Sore is large, dangerous, and still on the loose thanks to our heroic interns. But we have much bigger problems at the moment. Indeed, the breach is wider reaching than we suspected. Specimens are quickly spreading throughout the complex. The initial breach seems to be in our laboratories. Specimens are being released from containment. Along the way, destroy any evidence... <laughs> ...escaping creatures that you encounter. Speaking of which, if you come across any of our meat products... Chow down! You want to keep your strength up. She's exactly right. Let's commence the, uh, operation. Push your way down the corridor to the elevators, then upward to the laboratories. We'll send in support as usual. Good luck! Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so here's mission one. We can get a fireworks pod, a rain pod, or a flash pod. Uh, let's do the rain pod this time.
Ah. Thought I was close enough. That's what the rain pod does. Well, we're going to retry. I don't know if I'm at a checkpoint, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'm ready to rock. I have not played a whole lot of this game. I'm still learning. So, yeah, I, this will not be like the greatest uh, win ever. Cockroach man again. Did you just talk? <laughs> it's a cockroach dinosaur.
Ah, not having a good run. Oh, well. Like I said, I don't know the game that well, so I'm learning this as you guys are. All right, so we do start right after the uh, the mini boss, so that's good. Ah, this must be the boss. Outdated but still outrageous, the Combiner. Okay. Well, we found the boss. Always positive. Here I come. It's almost like the game gets mad at you when you start going too far. Because it didn't do sh anything like this before. Here we go again. Oh, man. See what I mean? 
The game gets mad at you. <laughs> oh well. We might be stopping this one and going to a different game here in a little bit if I don't get past this. But it's not fun for me to keep losing. Alright, well, at least I got one life. Yeah, I think we're changing to a different game because this was not a lot of fun to just keep doing that. So give me a fast. So we had a bad start. So we're going to play the surge. Which I know is a rough game, but for some reason, I find it easier. Alright, we're going to go into a new game. Save slot 2. And let this play. The ancient Greeks once said, A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. We tend to forget about this. We tend to be careless. 
We have to rise to the task together. It's up to all of us to sow those seeds. And it's up to us. Creo is not just another company. With Project Resolve, we are building the path to the future. Follow us into a new era, a utopia for all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shield. A return to the green world we remember, where our children can once more play in the sun. Resolve is not only revitalizing the Earth, but its people, too. We've all dreamed it, and now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Together, we can make a change. Unleash your potential with us. Welcome. I know you're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are. Or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there. Whether you see us or not. Maybe it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products. But we're so much more. And that's why you're here. At Creo, we're always reaching for the stuff. So, this is a game, uh, it's very much called Sci-Fi Dark Souls, and, which is funny because, you know, I just played a game that I was getting my backside kicked in, also, this is one of the greatest reveals in video game history, that this gentleman is in a wheelchair, but... I actually enjoy these kind of games, and I think I got a better shot at this. That's a lot of stairs. Can't go that way. Now currently available positions and form an orderly queue. So now here's the question. And uh, I got two viewers according to this, so please I, I will listen to you guys. Should I take the rhino, which is big, bulky, hard hitting, or should I take the lynx, which is uh, speedy, can't do as much damage as the rhino, but so let me know in the in the comments. We'll we'll wait a few seconds. Let me know in the chat which one should I take. Cause if I don't hear anything, we're going for the rhino. I will give you thirty more seconds. All right, Rhino it is. If you believe you can move mountains, Creo has the job for you. 
because as a heavy operator, you can literally do that. Pure power, relentless performance. Nothing can hold you back. Are you ready? Then join us as a heavy operator and save tomorrow today. Now, some people will say to get the links because of the fact that you get a lot of the links pieces early, but nah. And this scene. I love this scene. Rig installation program running. Program complete. Patient sedated. Initiating surgery. And this is why you can't leave it up to just machines. You need a person in there. So, right bumper is to form horizontal attacks, right trigger is for vertical attacks. You got disassembled enough for that. And you got to keep an eye on the green bar because that's your stamina. A is your dodge button. Left bumper blocks, which will take stamina, of course. Oh, look, something right over here. Uh, force regulator. Welcome to the rocket yard. Let's look around. And obviously there's stuff to find. I literally just found something. Ooh, what's up here?
Uh, this is a rig armature. I'm going to pick that up. I might have to jump down. Yeah, I have to jump down that way because I jumped down to get over here. That's fine. Got a new implant. <laughs> Press back to open my backpack. Alright, so weapons, that's all I have right now. Implants. I can do a medical audit which displays my enemy's health gauge. And I have the organizer uh, gear voucher, that's all I have in there, so. Let's use the med bay. Now, just like in the Dark Souls games, using a med bay does, uh, uh, respawn all the enemies. There's a fault detected. I need a new bat a new core. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Are you still there? Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. You need to get back into the factory. Well, okay. How do I get into the factory? Right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend walking, but there should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from off. The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect yourself. Operations always has a gear assembly. On my way. Be careful. And don't forget to replace the power core of your rig or you're not going to get very far. No. I don't think we're able to do anything with the gear assembly. Oh yeah, we will be. Yeah, because of the fault, we can't actually do anything. We need to replace the power core first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... That's what they wanted to show us. I believe that's the first boss. Later on, you'll be able to, uh, uh, This exolift will bring you to a, a shortcut to another place. That's a big thing in this game is opening up shortcuts.
can't go that way yet. But we can do this. Take the mag lift up. Now, in this game, tech scrap is very much like the souls in the soul game. You use it to level yourself up, to make your gear better, things like that. This is another place that can be turned into a shortcut. I can't believe they just fired Dr. Chavez. After the years of hard work and dedication she's put into this company. I, I suppose that's what you get when you stand up for your convictions. The worrying thing is, she's right. I've seen the data. We've got to keep working, now more than ever. Lesser people would, would give up, but she's not one of them. A and if she won't, I won't. Now, if you attacked an armor area, like that's armored, uh, you won't do as much damage. So you have to, you're going to be hitting the unarmed area, which in this case is his head. Then later on, <coughs> after we get certain weapons, we'll be able to uh, literally sever parts of their body to keep them to do different gear stuff. So we just acquired something. But not any new weapons. We got some new implants. Got some consumables. Which just give us some tech points that we can use later. And there's the power core. Now your power core has a level. And when you have power core 10, you can actually interact with this to do something else. So we're going to run all the way back. So all these enemies are going to be coming back. Because we're about to respawn them, but we're going to be getting a better set. Our fault is resolved. Our core level. Uh, collect tech scrap to 
increase our core level, which will let us equip more pieces to our core. Now, it'll take 395 to upgrade to level 11. We can also put in implants. Right now we have 10 available. Uh, and we're using three right now. So right now we have vital injection, which is our healing one. Medical audit, which gives us their uh, hit points, which 100% we want. Uh, aggressive amplifier is a really good one because when we f do finishing moves, which we'll learn about very soon, we'll actually be able to uh, heal ourselves up from that. And then vital boost just to increase our health, which put it up to 110. Right now we have the cheapest rig. And we are going to increase our... We can also hit bank our tech scrap, which is good. Because just like in Dark Souls, if you get killed, your souls, or in this case your tech, gets dropped on the ground and you have to get it. By banking it... We can store it in med rigs until we get to another med bay. So we are going to actually, we're going to do a level. We got up to 11. Eh. Got it to there. And then we're going to, we're going to bank the rest of our stuff. Connection to database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. Gear voucher we're going to redeem our voucher. To get our... And we also got the schematics for these different pieces. So if we get the parts, we can make the full set. So now if I go here, I can go into my right hand and give this. But as you can see, it does cost parts of the core to use cost three core consumption to put on but it increases my impact by 30 percent but it lowers my attack speed don't really matter because it has a, a 10 per, a 10 defense and this uh plus five percent uh stamina consumption we're running or dodging but stability is high, but it took all the rest of my core. But we're at 20. Uh, pieces. Now, if I get. Nine force regulators. Or seven pneumatic helixes, I can make the rhino arm and rhino leg gears to have the full set. So we're actually going to assume consumables and we're going to fire off both of these. Because I don't like running exactly on uh, so. Te uh, put that in. Have a nice day, Warren. So now we're going to go around and rebeat the monsters that were over here. Because we want to add more of uh, Strike enemies to build up energy, then hold X to perform a finishing move to cut off the limbs. We're going after his uh, weapon arm.
So now we can pick up. See, this is why I said, like, uh, he has uh, being the Lynx is actually easier because you can get uh, all their pieces a lot sooner. But see that wrecked Lynx arm gear gives me three force regulators. Now we are going to go up to this because its damage is just so much better. And we also got the schematic for the Lynx arm gear. But like I said, we're going to be doing the Rhino one. And that's what we're going to be working towards. Uh, let's take that leg. Oops. Did not get it. Because I forgot to hit X. I forgot to hold X. So that's fine. Ooh, let's, he's got a headpiece. Now he has the Lynx headgear. So we it's going to take us a while before we can get like the Rhino headgear. All right, we're going after his. Now, see, this is what we were talking about with because of my <laughs> level, I could over you could overcharge that to get in here. Now, there are quite a few bad guys in here, so we need to just take it slow. Because a lot of bad guys like to jump at you from as soon as they see you. See what I mean? here. Yeah, there's nothing up here. But you always want to check. So if you look, you can see other enemies in the area. Yeah, I can't go that way. You want to get as many of the wrecked arm pieces as you can. Uh, because you need those to... Uh, uh, to strip down for their uh, composite pieces. Now, if you didn't see, it says if you run towards... Oh, what I got to do? It's, oh, press that while sprinting. Okay, hold on. Okay. Basically, what you have to do is you have to double tap it. Ooh, tungsten alloy. That's good. You need that for other stuff. Like I said, you do got to be careful because there's a guy right there that if you weren't paying attention would just take you out.
Now, because I've done so much, I raise the proficiency of my uh, self with this type of rig, which means that later on I can equip other rigs to it. We've had issues with Robert Weave again, this time about the exoskeleton program. He's refused to have the implant surgery. And we've explained it's hardly invasive, even offered to double his bonus. But no, thinks management will use it to control the workforce. And he even brought up his union nonsense again. If he poisons the others, it could put us months behind schedule. It's amazing. He doesn't see it as making his job easier. I recommend termination. You know, we put up with too much of his trash talking. And then... A new sustain, a new implant, the sustaining array. So, we're actually going to be uh, the next couple of things I go after. We're going to be aiming for arms. Yeah, see, you need a level of fifty-five to get into here, which obviously it is stupidly hard to do while right while you're right here. But what we are going to do is we're going to go here. This is a shortcut. This is where I found that first audio log. So now, if I need to run back, which I will in a little bit, I can use that to get back here faster. And we got a couple. We're tr trying not to get in a fight with too many of them at once. Because we got four in this area. So we're... There's another guy right over here. We're going to... Well, we want that. Oh, that was my bad. Take it. <laughs> oh, that's not good for the home team. This is uh this is where those two little ships were shooting at you. So we're not going over there yet. We we still have some stuff to find over here.
Yeah, this door cannot open from this side. Go up here. I know there's a way to get that. It's just a pain in the backside. Oh, no, no. You have to jump down onto that one, don't you? Yep. Yeah, you have to jump down on that one. Oh, excuse me. This right over here is where... Those two little ships were... Now, we are 100% going to go heal, we're going to reset everybody, and then we're going to go clear them out again, because we need the tech. But first we're going to go here. And then we can also upgrade if we have the pieces. Which we do for this. That's the links. All right, we need another one of these. And one of these. Implant slot unlocked. We unlocked a new implant slot. So we can put another implant here. We can get injectable that regenerates health over 30 seconds or uh, slows energy decay. We're going to do slows energy decay. Actually, no, because we need three. We need all three because we are going to put on. The one that we don't have on, we're going to put it on. But that maxes us out for right now. And then once we have another three core power, we'll put on the right leg. Have a nice day, Warren. Weapon proficiency up. Now, like I said, it's going to be kind of silly me doing all this, but there is a reason why I'm doing it. And we're taking the body on this one. It gives us the Link's body gear, but that's not what we're worried about.
Ah, uh, that was me getting greedy. And just like in Souls, you end up dying. But that's fine. Oh, you do have a little bit of time where you have to... You have three minutes to get over there to get it. All right, nice little build up again. Shouldn't you be at your designated work site? And there we go. So now we just need the head and the body for this. But we don't have their schematics yet. Have a nice day. 
nice day, Warren. Now we have a very annoying fight. Uh, there's actually a really hard enemy coming up that we are going to attempt to get past. And this enemy is very rough. So. Be prepared to start dodging like a champ. Don't touch the green because it's poisonous. This is it. Yeah, this guy killed me in one hit. Ah. And that's with 40 defense. This guy just, just one shot at me. Take care. You have to take out that, that flyer first, though. He just starts shooting you in the back. Now, when you get over here, you need to, the first thing I need to do is grab my uh, tech before I do anything else. I need to make sure I get my tech. Ah, I thought I was out of the way. But once again, because I picked up my tech, I was okay. Be careful out there. He has an item. The, the reason I'm doing this because that thing has an item that you need for something later. Back up, back up.
Yeah, they just gave me four thousand <laughs> over four thousand right there, and now there should be something. Oh, where is it? There is something that's over here. I know for a fact there is. Where is it? Oh, well, that's annoying. Ah, son of a... Hmm. That's not good for the home team. I didn't realize how weak I was at that point. And think, this is with 40... Uh, defense. How fast would they beat me without that? Up this way, turn, go up this way. I think this is the first guy who actually has the rhino set. Could be wrong. I love that because that's a little thing that just explains why you have to have the schematics before you can make something. Ah oh, man, I got him, and then that got killed. Ah, that happens. <laughs> Take 
care. Yeah, I definitely have to get that. I mean, Like I said, I think this guy up here is the first one who's actually got uh, one of the rhino pieces. I might be wrong, though. This might be a lynx. Yeah, it's a lynx. Damn. Pay attention, don't get hit. There's gonna be a guy jumping from the ceiling. Now this right here, this is where you fight the main, uh, the first level boss. Uh, it just won't be for a little while. That's where we need to go. After the recent events and the continuing threat to Creo security, we are asking all employees to remain vigilant. Please, if you see or hear anything suspicious, report it immediately to your supervisor. Protect yourself, your job, your family. Terrorism is everyone's problem.
Oh. Ah, I forgot about him. kind of hard to see but that's the way we gotta go or at least to get this now we will be going there is a guy on the other side and he will eventually break out but we're gonna go down this way More rare scrap. I think it's I think it was the guy up here that just got out. Yep. Now, I did just get a weapon. Um, less damage, better attack speed, better proficiency scaling. Uh, but I prefer the single ringed weapon. Yeah, we're about to go on a long journey to go unlock another shortcut path. Ah, man, I better hurry up because there's a whole bunch of part uh, tech right there. Look out for your fellow workers. They look out for you. Definitely don't want to take too much time. All right, 
Come on, come on, come on. up turn around and there's my stuff right there Oh, he's the... Ah, oh, man. That dude was just going nuts. <laughs> See, the really bad thing is because I don't have the quicker way to get back, you have to go this long way and risk more death.
Oh. The one thing is, the time limit you get to find your uh, last gear is never really long. Or it's never too short. Or if it is, I haven't ran into it being too short. Alright. Now, technically, there's a thing over here. Now we got this big guy. Let's get him down here. Low damage, but high attack speed. It, it just slashes very, very quickly. Uh, let's try it for a little bit. But yeah, he has rhino gear, so I need to eventually target his head. Oh, that's the shining coin. This is what I got from that one uh, big guy that I fought. And this is the, uh... Do you require assistance, Warren? Alright, let's see if this can be upgraded. Oh, yes it can. So we are definitely going to upgrade that. Increase the amount of energy gained through successful attacks. We're going to take that one. So, one more level, and we will unlock implant slot six. Be careful out there. Now we're going to go over here, because this is a lot faster now. And we just have that one guy in the rhino gear, and I'm hoping that he has the headpiece, because then I will definitely go make that. Nope. Uh, he doesn't have the head or the body. Damn. I was hoping he had the head or the body. He did not. So we'll have to find that. So now we got to go back here. We got this guy over here to fight.
Gonna be more enemies down here. And we take his head. Now we're going to go down here and actually on towards the way we're supposed to be going. Uh, yeah, you gotta have body gear to have a light. I don't have one. So this part's a little bit scarier than most. Twin rig. bit by bit. Now, I know what you're going to say, but we've been lucky. We've been able to sweep the previous incidents under the rug. We can't keep relying on luck. I know nobody cares about the grunts down here, but God knows they will care if the media gets hold of it. Or worse, the oversight committee. Come into possession of evidence that links Ed Nakana, employee number 776910, to the homicides associated with the individual known as the Liberator. All indications point to the fact that he has deliberately tampered with his neural implant, including disabling its GPS function. Therefore, CreoNet cannot ascertain his whereabouts. While he's at large, he is a serious threat to staff and Creo's image. If this were to get out, we need to take care of this quickly and quietly. Well, this is just silly. I really should not be doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to run. I'm going to have to go back. Because there's no... I can't see. Oh, great. I'm going to have to go put a body piece on. Luckily, I should have enough pieces to make a Lynx body piece. So I get the the light. Ah. Ah, that's some BS. <sighs> well, luckily it's faster getting down there. All right, what do I need for the Lynx body? 
All right, I have all those. All right, so I'll at least have everything I need to make have it. Nice day, Warren. Oh, don't go down that way. Go this way. Oh, that's not good. I just lost all those things. Ooh, that's not good for the home team. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. This is a shorter one, but I also did a two-hour stream earlier. You can check that out on YouTube. That'll be uh, Rumble Roses, Double X. And uh, the Surge may come back, but I don't think Spider-Saurus uh, will. spider Source will. Maybe after I've played it a couple times and gotten a lot better at it. But right now, I, I'm a little too garbage at it to be a lot of fun to watch. So, uh, but want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. And... Uh,